Hey, what's going on guys? This is John from Power and Fun. I want to do a quick video on a case with Raspberry Pi that I recently ordered on Amazon. It is a Geek Pi acrylic nine layer case. It's more of a closed case rather than some of the open concept cases. It does come with a typical Raspberry Pi fan and all the hardware you need to assemble everything. The instructions are a little lacking. I ran into one issue and I'll go over that when I get closer to it regarding the, the fan mount. There's four screws or bolts that hold all nine layers of the acrylic together and four nuts on either of one side of the case. Once you unscrew or loosen each of the four screws or bolts, remove the screws, you can remove the top plate and take all the layers off or even just the top layer. So to start off with, you need the first three bottom layers of the case. Then the Raspberry Pi 4 mounts on or kind of nestles into there. From there, you put the next five layers on top. Then you have the top plate where the fan will mount. Now you see I have this fan mounted with the hardware it came with on the side and in the direction that the instruction guide said to put it. However, in doing this and mounting the fan on the bottom side or inside of the case, it would not work. I'm not using any special heat sinks. I'm using all heat sinks that came with my Raspberry Pi 4. So if you mount that fan or really almost any other fan onto this case, you'll have to mount it on the outside. However, that's just a minor gripe. Overall, this case is really a good case. I've done some temperature testing with it with both the stock Raspberry Pi fan as well as an additional fan, a Noctura 5 volt fan which I'll have a, another video on soon. It does the job and it works very well. I will say this one thing about the case. As far as looks go it is a pretty good looking case. I know yeah it's acrylic it's kind of really a, just a cheap case but you can get it for nine or ten dollars on Amazon. If you like this case there's a link in the description down below where you can find this case on Amazon. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell for notification for more videos like this. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions below. Until next time, be safe, be kind, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.